You guys, these are the noisiest things ever! Oh my gosh! I don't think I like their sounds very much, but they do the job of being a drill. And we have five minutes left on this drill. And actually, when I logged in this morning, this fine, beautiful morning here in our beautiful Slime Rancher world, said that it had like 26 minutes or so left. So I went ahead and jumped into the bed to see if passing a day would do anything. And it does actually pass a huge chunk of time. So we, we will be back to check out this drill when five minutes is up. So five minutes in Slime Rancher time, five hours, I guess. And we'll see how that goes. <gasps> Look at that little Q-berry. How did that Q-berry get up there? Q-berry puzzles. Oh my gosh, that's so adorable. I love it. All right, let's go ahead and fetch these Q-berries down. Very good to see that the Q-berry harvest... Get... What are you doing? What are you doing? There we go. <laughs> I did not want to budge. <laughs> Oh, that's just so much fun. What does the Slimepedia say about the Q-berries again? Do they taste good? Does it tell you how they taste? Because they look amazing. I just want to eat the whole thing right now. Due to their sweet taste and curious shape, Q-berries were quick to become a favorite amongst the first ranchers on the range. They are often used in cakes and pies when celebrating special occasions, like birthdays or Plurtapalooza. Now, if they add in a Plurtapalooza event, that would just crack me up. That would be amazing. Deposit a Q-berry into a garden's depositor and you'll grow a large Q-berry tree of your very own. This tree will last for several harvests. Wonderful! So we're going ahead and we're growing this Q-berry tree right now so that we can feed our phosphor slimes! How are you guys doing today? Here you go, have more Q-berries! Hopefully I'll be able to get you guys even more pretty soon. Alright! And so what are we gonna do today, you guys? Welcome back to our world where we're gonna keep an eye on those drills. But I also want to go ahead and see if we can maybe get some more apiaries made. Uh, so I need to go get a whole bunch of pink plorts and phosphor plorts. And I want to get at least two or three apiaries that we can put into the moss blanket when we pop over there to drop off some of the drills. And a pump wouldn't be a miss, actually. So I think I want to go get some more pink plorts. We're going to go pile up on pink plorts and pop them in to our fabricator so that we can use them in order to put them in the different areas of the world. I definitely think I want to start off in the moss blanket. And I wonder if actually putting the items in different places of the world, not just in different places in the world, but like different parts of the moss blanket, I wonder if that would have an effect too. So we'll definitely be looking into that soon. All right, so carrots, which are currently the food because we need to get some oka okas that we are feeding our boom rad largos. And odd onions, which I'm trying to gather up a stash of odd onions so that we can give the odd onions to, let me think, we want to give them to the crystal slimes. Those are the people, the people, the slimes that love odd onions. So let me go ahead and tuck these away. I think I started another odd onion field. Oh, this field doesn't have anything. Oh, look at that. The carrot just like plopped out of the the ground like that. All right, let me gather everything up over here. Out of the way, hen hens, out of the way. You guys are not supposed to be eating this anyway, and it looks like the last of this harvest just came up. Oh, nope, there's fresh greens. Fresh, tiny little sprouts on the ground, but I'm not seeing any odd onion sprouts, unfortunately. So it looks like it's going to be all carrots this round. All right, so still growing odd onions. Let's put down the briar hens and the elder hens. There you go, guys. I might need to gather up these elder hens, actually. And I'll gently tuck them in here. Sorry, sorry ladies. This is just the swiftest way for it to be the, the end for you. Oh boy. Oh, there we go. Sorry, ma'am. That's it's a hunter. It's both a hunter and a a tabby. So it's a hunter tabby largo. They're gonna eat the meat. All right, and we might gather up a few more chickens if we have to pick some for that too. Also, I love the fact we have chickadees. Look at him, he's so cute. He looks like he just has been rolling in cinnamon. You are adorable. I love you. Oh, and he just rolls right over his own little feet. That's just precious. Oh, there's some more elders over here. All right, so we'll gather up the elder rooster root. Whoops, do. All right, let's see. And gather you up. And we'll gather you up. I think that's a fair trade-off. They get a nice, peaceful life just hanging out here on the range. Oh, honey mint, make sure you stay inside. <gasps> hey, come on, come on. Boop. Oh, I love you too, little one. All right, you stay here, though. Stay here with all of the rooster roos. Oh, here's another elder. But I think that's a fair trade-off if we wait until they're elders before we put them in. Uh, so here's the elder hens, elder roosters. Before, oh, they're just in like a little line. They're so cute. Before we put them in uh, to be eaten. So let's go ahead and pop in some more odd onions. Huzzah! All right, let's check the odd onions in here too. 
and a bunch of carrots that I can actually go and give to our boom rads. So I'll definitely do that in just a second. But let's go gather up all of those pink plorts. And that actually won't be very difficult because we just have to step outside of our front yard. Ta-da! Pink plorts! Oh, and I have carrots! Good! I gotta be ready with the carrots this time. Because last time we came over here, we ran into a golden slime. And I was so sad. I was so sad because the golden slime, we didn't have any food on us. And so I just had to stare in awe. I tried to even pick it up. I was so desperate. <laughs> of course, that doesn't work. All right. Pink plorts, pink plorts. So many pink plorts. Oh, you guys are so cute. I love it when they do the little stacking. Do you guys remember how exciting it was when we first saw the slime stacking on top of each other? Oh, it really is fun. I was just thinking about that. There's some games where like you'll play them and and then you'll just kind of never return to them again. But there's been so many updates with Slime Rancher and the fact it's still early access. I have no idea what else is going to show up. It's kind of like playing niche and seeing early access things. Okay, let's grab this one. All right, and then there's some more pink plorts over here. Wonderful, can I, I don't think I can double up on pink plorts. Once I hit 50, it's gonna be like, nope, you're done. Yep, darn. All right, even if I have other empty areas. Oh, look, there's a little pink plort in the nest. That's adorable. Oh, I love it. It's just so fun to be on the ranch, you guys. Oh, and there's so much to harvest down there. Let's go. We might come back and gather up more of these pink plorts because apparently we use a lot. Oh, look at them. They're doing the little stacky thing. It's so cute. Apparently you use pink plorts. Um, and we'll gather this elder in a lot of the construction of some of the various. Let's gather these up. Some of the various items. Do, 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 do. Another elder. Another elder hen. Yeah, I think that's fair. And another elder hen, I think. Or that's a rooster roo, excuse me. Uh, that we leave him alone. That's a rooster roo too. So I need to get a young rooster roo and plunk him in there instead. All right, we'll put these two in here. Oh, and I'm gonna take that little hunter plort. Don't mind me. Those hunter plorts are actually very useful for some of the item creation. I love our farm. It's so covered in hen hens and roosteroos. I feel like doing a hen hen roosteroo rescue mission again. All right, but now that we're coming over here again, we should be able to wiggle this way. There we go, and pink plorts. Come on, load up, load up. Load up and done. Wonderful. <laughs> there we go. And now we can come over with carrots and fill this up. Oh, and then are our little drills done? Let's see if the drills are done and let's see how many things we can we can build. <gasps> the drills are done! The drills are done! Look at the little dance they do when they're all done. Oh, that's so cool. Okay, so the drill is done, you guys. You guys ready for this? Alright, let's open it up. What do we get? Look at all of this! What is this odd, curious stuff on the ground here? Jelly stone! It's both squishy and solid at the same time. All right, so it looks like if we put the drills down here in our ranch, we get jelly stone. This is awesome. Is that a carrot? That was amazing! They blasted a carrot into the ground against the barn. Oh, you guys are something else. I'll tell you what, when you guys decide to explode, it really creates something pretty darn special. All right, we'll gather all of these up. There we go. Oh, there's another one. Rad plorts everywhere. Okay, and we'll gather up the boom plorts so that we can make lots and lots of apiaries and we can make lots of drills and lots of drains or pumps or whatever they were called. Um, and then we'll toss the jelly stone in, you guys. We have jelly stone now. Oh, that was so cool. Okay, and we'll toss in the plorts. Lots and lots of plorts. Oh, this is awesome. I really love the slime science stuff. There we go. So jelly plorts or jelly, jelly plorts. No, <laughs> jelly stones. So let's double check the slimepedia. I want to see what that was again. Dun 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 Jelly stone! It's both solid and squishy at the same time, a crafting material. It is a common resource obtained with a drill. Jelly stone is a semi-hardened mixture of minerals and slime, possibly resulting from plorts sinking back into the earth below. Because it's a softer texture, it's a favorite stone for sculptors. Deposits of jelly deposit jelly stone into the lab's refinery where it can be used for crafting slime science gadgets. Gotcha. Alright, so we got the jelly stone now. And I can't remember, it was needed for the med station. Oh, so cool. And was that the only thing we needed jelly stone for so far? 
Let's see. And we also needed it for the slime hoop ball, of course. <laughs> and then we need so many pink plorts. That's really cool. So we'll definitely be getting quite a few pink plorts whenever we can. We'll just snag 50 of them as we walk by. And then let's go ahead and get a few of these pumps. So we'll fabricate. Uh, I definitely want to fabricate. Okay, I only can get two apiaries right now. How many pumps can I fabricate? Is there like a limit? I think I can get a lot of these pumps. Oh, I ran out of pink plorts of all the things to run out of. That's amazing. All right, and then we'll go ahead and we'll go gather up some more plorts now. Are you guys ready to harvest? Okay, I'll gather these up really quickly just because I don't want to miss out on an odd onion harvest. You guys need to stop blasting your food out. That's just, ah, oh my gosh. I thought that was a tar and it just about, it just about scared the badoodads out of me. I can't believe that. I really thought I ran into a tar and I just crashed into my own scarecrow. That's amazing. All right, let's see. And they're still growing things. So let's go ahead and put these carrots inside so that they'll have plenty of food. We're finally starting to see a pretty good turnaround when it comes to um, getting the phosphors. Let's see, oop, and there's a little rad plort. Definitely gonna need to snag that. When it comes to getting the phosphor and the rock and the rad and the boom plorts. So we should be able to keep up with production hopefully pretty soon. Oh, and did it pop up there again? This is kind of funny that they kind of grow up there. All right, I'll toss that in there and take the odd onions. I should probably take the odd onions and some carrots into the cave. It's been a long time since we've gone in the cave and I feel like our crystal slimes are being ignored. Oh, and we also need to go in. Hang in there, guys. Okay, actually you're doing okay. Oh, how did you get out? Oh, this is not good. All right, there we go. Will you eat the odd onion? Okay, these guys will eat the odd onion though. And I'll throw another odd onion in there. Hang in there, little ones. Okay, everybody else is still fed, which surprises me. The puddle, the puddle slimes are still fed because they're water. <laughs> All right, so where was I? Now let's go start putting some of these things down. And the first place I want to head to is the moss blanket. Also, I want some food, like now, in case I run into another, um, there's no food in case I run into another quick uh, okay, sorry, 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 chickadees. You're just emergency food rations in case I run into another gold slime. I don't even know if gold slimes eat chickadees. All right. Oh, and I need to start making like the water pumps and things like that too. Oh, that'll be really exciting. All right, but let's go over. Um, I guess we could put some of the things down in here, but I kind of want to go and put things down. Well, you know what? All right, where are the spots? Hmm. Hmm. Um, what would I have to pick from? A drill? Let's go ahead and install one drill over here and one pump over here too. Is there a better spot? Let's try over here and we'll put one pump down here. And I think that'll be all I want to put in in this area. And I definitely want to get that tar exterminator built. So we'll have to look into what materials. I think we need some of the specialized materials that you get. A oh, phosphor! Come here, phosphor! All right, you too! I need more of you. Okay, quick, 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 get in here. There we go. All right, got the phosphor slimes. Got you. Come back, come back, come back. No, too late. Okay, quick, while well, they're still young. Well, they're still young and they don't know the way of the wild. All right, where are you going, rock slime? Do you know where you're headed? Oh, my ranch! I forgot that was a loop back to my ranch. All right, and then maybe I can leave the, oh, there's some tars already. <laughs> I really need to figure out what, um, what the tars, or like what the tar exterminator thingy requires. All right, let's run this way. And we'll take our little chikadoos. I wonder if I can have a safe spot for the chikadoos somewhere. Oh, hang on. Might need to use these chikadoos. Depending on what's in here. Nope. All right. We're good. We're good. Um. Oh, it's so beautiful here. Chikadoos, here. You can probably grow up safely under the, the beautiful glowing flowers. There should be no slimes to bother you here. All right. So I've rescued those little chikadoos. Even though I, I kept them for like, ill purposes, to be honest. They were supposed to be gold slime food. Or lucky slime food. All right, now more phosphors. Come here, phosphor friend. I gotcha. Gosh, it's beautiful here. Oh, I love it here. Yeah, we need to figure out what it will take to actually get the uh, tar exterminator set up so that we can explore over here safely. Oh yeah, and I need to put down the stuff. 
<laughs> I almost forgot. I was so distracted by the beauty. All right, let's put down the apiaries. I'm just going to put both apiaries over here for now. So there's two apiaries. And then where are some more spots I can stick things? Over here. Oh, there's so many spots to put things. Okay. And then let's put down one of the pumps. And then one of the drills. And I'm really excited to see what may turn up from over here. I feel like I want to put down a lot of items for now. Let's put down another drill. Maybe just fill this area. That might be a good idea. And then another pump really quickly. Another pump. And then maybe... Oh, there's a phosphor. But I can't pick it up right now. Oh, and there's still a couple more spots. Okay. So yeah, we'll just install all of them in here for now. And then we'll have to come back and see what they are. That might take until next time though. Jeez, they take a while to work. All right, so this is the drill. This is the pump. Okay, and then the apiary just kind of just kind of whirls around. There we go. So now we have apiaries in the moss blanket, but I don't know if these apiaries are going to end up um Hmm, they're very interesting. I don't know if these apiaries are going to end up collecting the same thing no matter where they are in the moss blanket or if they'll collect a different things if they're in different areas so that's the next thing we need to look into all right and the other thing we need to look into is probably gathering up a ton of the pink plorts hi bubby are you half a tabby you sure are all right gathering up i'll leave the tabby plort behind okay how do i get out of here <laughs> it's kind of hard to figure out where you're going oh hi little ones man everything is so different here now it hardly looks like the, the area I remember anymore. Not that I'm complaining, it's just kind of amazing to see the difference. As time has gone on and we have updated new areas, like the whole moss blanket feels completely different. There we go. And we're going to settle over here. And let's see if we stumble on anybody. Hi, guys! I mean, I guess I could take you, but now I'm worried I'd get a little greedy with my phosphor slimes. And I wouldn't have anywhere to stick you. And that would really, that wouldn't be very kind. All right, let's come over here, see if there's anybody. Oh, wait, there's a little crate. Let's see, there's a bit of food. I'll take those just in case I need to feed something. Well, I gotta defeat something. That's the first thing we gotta do. Oh my gosh, look at you. Hey, no, whoa, whoa there, buddy. Don't make me spray you with water to calm you down. All right, what's going on over here? <gasps> it's hunters. There's two hunters. Oh, we caught a pair of hunters. That's so cool. I'll have to add them to my little hunter collection. There's Hunters are a little bit harder to find. Get in there, you, you tar. That's right. That's what happens to tars. All right. And there's another hunter. Oh, there's a whole bunch of them out tonight. That's so awesome. Uh, hey. And I feel like the tars have gotten a little bit easier to destroy if you, you like smack them head on. All right, so we've got a few hunters. We've got a few dancing, <laughs> dancing pink slimes. I need to gather up their pink plorts, actually. I do need to go get some Oka Oka at some point. That is something I need to do. Can I get over there? Where does this lead? This is interesting. Oh, man. It's so fun to do the exploring. I don't think I can get over there just yet. Hmm. It really is so fun to explore again. <laughs> Oh, in the foggy night. Oh, you can just almost feel the moisture in the moss blanket here. Oh, wow. Look at that spot. Oh, the slime sea is so pretty. I wonder if, like, when you take a bath here... Oh, we need to get the little treasure cracker. That's another thing we need to work on next. But I wonder if when you get the, um... When you take a bath in this planet, if it's like slimy water, and so would you really feel clean? I don't know if I would feel very clean if I bathed in slimy water, to be honest. All right, where are we now? Did I come? Oh, hello there. All right, rock and a little bit of money. And let's see. Otherwise, I'm just kind of lost and wandering. <laughs> I think I have a vague idea of where I am. Um, because, yeah, all of my machines are down here. <laughs> That's amazing. Okay, so all my machines are down here. It's just everything about the moss blanket is so different now. I'm pretty sure if I go this way, it should, it should take me, it should take me to the old exit. Maybe. Wow. Oh, wow. Am I back out in the main area? 
I am. Okay, so I went the other direction. But you know what? This works too. If I can just get up. I forgot how it won't let me climb back out. <laughs> I think I have to climb out kind of by like hopping up the rocks. And then getting up here if I can. Hello. There we go. And now I should be able to hopefully climb my way out. There we go. And is this? Yes. Okay. There we go. All right. That's okay. That'll work out because this is actually a direction I can take to get back to. Do, 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 to get back to the teleporter. And we'll head back home, you guys. So we've planted down a few of the, the machines. And I definitely want to go and let's do some research. What was that? Did you see that up in the air? Didn't bode very well. You guys can just go be angry somewhere else. Oh my goodness. And we're gonna run this way. There's so much treasure everywhere. That rock slime just jumped off. Bye, buddy. He's off to swim in the slime sea. And we'll pop home. <sighs> and I'm at my chubby ranch. Yay! And we can put away our three new hunter slimes. Hi, guys. You guys doing okay? Oh, you're so cute. I'll have to get you some, some hen hens. I try not to feed them hens. Oh no, and I need to go get a fresh harvest of our honey mints. Oh gosh, all right. So we'll have to go and get the honey mints to feed them too. So there's plenty to do now. Instead of twiddling our thumbs and being like, okay, what next? We actually have so much. It's keeping me on my toes. It really is trying to keep up with everything. I'll gather up those carrots in a minute. So yeah, I will see you guys next time when we are going to go through. We'll have to gather up a lot of pink plorts. Um, like a lot of them, I'm sort of surprised. I may even have to like get some some pink port largos of some kind. Oh my gosh, we might actually have to make corrals again. Imagine that. Oh my goodness, and there's so many mint mangoes. This is awesome. Oh, I'm full up on mint mangoes. All right, gotta go feed the honeys. And then we'll put down some more apiaries and we'll see what it would take to make the tar fighting things because I really want to try to see what those water cannon things would look like. So we'll research that next time too. Pop over here, plant those guys. And then happy, happy, happy honey mints. Oh, look at that. Happy honeys. Oh, they're so happy. I love doing this. They're just so joyful. Oh, look at him play with his carrot. Oh, they're so cute. All right, and hearts and happiness and joy and so many honey plorts everywhere. So I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.